take a look at what just went down a few hours ago. Uh, the New Jersey Devils sending Kyle Palmieri and Travis Zajac across a couple of rivers, really. And now they will be in Brooklyn or Long Island, I should say, um, playing the New York Islanders, playing for the New York Islanders. Dano, you cover the team so closely. You know all about the New Jersey Devils and the situation with both Palmieri and Travis Zajac. What's your reaction to the news? Well, first off, will there be a dominoes effect is kind of the first big trade that's happened uh, prior to tr the trade deadline. Look, Travis Ajak just played his thousandth game all in a Devils uniform this season. He wear, wore it with pride. He's a class act. He's a leader. He's been a terrific player for so many years for the Devils. Kyle Palmer, we know, has been a prolific goal scorer for the last five seasons for the Devils as well. One of the better goal scorers in the National Hockey League as far as consistency. Struggled a little this year, but was getting hot as of late. So Lou Lamorello likes familiarity. He gets Travis Ajak who he had. He knows he plays the game right the right way. He knows he's responsible as anybody defensively. He'll win big draws. And oh, by the way, Travis Ajak has had 14 points in his last 15 games. So he's found some offense all of a sudden uh, late in his career here. But Islanders are going for it yes. from the Devils perspective. Under these circumstances, in the landscape we're in right now, yeah. you didn't know what you could get in return. They end up getting a first rounder, having to. Uh, trade both these guys to the New York Islanders. Yeah. Travis wasn't going anywhere else. He had a no trade. He refused to um, wave, wave it yeah. last season because he had another year in his contract. That's the pride he had wearing the Devils logo. I know Tom Fitzgerald, the general manager as well, talked to Travis and gave him the option. He, he said, you want to stay? We love you here. You're a great mentor to these young players. Or if you want an opportunity, you know, where they're at and where the Devils are at with a young team that's trying to build toward the future. Do you want a chance to go win a cup? And he felt he had a chance to go win a cup with the New York Islanders. Yeah. So he said, I'll, I'll go with my former boss, Lou Lamorello, and Andy Green, my buddy there, the former Devils captain, go along with Kyle Palmieri. Those two guys are going to help the New York Islanders. They're going to give them so much depth. And I think you haven't seen the best of Kyle Palmieri. He's going to go there and okay. he's going to light it up. Travis, again, is one of those guys. I have such respect for both guys. Mm -hmm. You hate to see them go if you're Devils fans. Sure. They're unrestricted free agents. You have to get something. They end up getting a first rounder uh, for both of these players and a couple of uh, pro former prospects and prospects going to Binghamton, I'm sure. Yeah. But you hope you strike lightning in the bottle if you're the Devils. I think for both clubs, it makes sense. Okay. Uh, but the Devils fans, I know... You get so attached to guys that have been there so long, in particular Travis Ajak, Palmieri has been there quite a while too. We all are heartbroken when they leave, but from a, uh, a team standpoint for both clubs, again, it makes a lot of sense, and they're going to help the New York Islanders tremendously, and the Devils better pick the right guy in the first round yeah. and, and help build toward the future because there's a lot of good players in the tw 2021 draft. Yeah, let's remember the New York Islanders surprised a lot of people by making it all the way to the Eastern Conference Final last year. They hope to make it to that semifinal round or even further this year, and maybe these two guys will be the ones that put them over the top. They might be in the lineup as soon as tomorrow night against the Philadelphia Flyers because, again, they're not even really traveling, right? They can just go over to Long that Island. That was a big part of it, I believe, for Travis A. Jack. <laughs> I haven't talked to him, but obviously his family, his kids can can stay right in New Jersey and uh, continue with school, whatever, uh, whether it's virtual or not, but right. just stay home. Yeah. They don't have to move too far. Travis will commute to to Long Island, yep. and again, he has such respect for Lou Lamorello as Lou Lamorello does for both those guys as well. So yeah. he knows what he's getting in these two players, and he feels they need that depth if they're going to make a long run, and a lot of the Islander fans believe they can. Okay, we'll see if we see those guys in the lineup tomorrow night for the New York Islanders.